Trimble Access Limit Box is really useful when working with 3D data like point clouds from a Trimble S16 scanning total station or with IFC BIM models. It's great for simplifying the view, focusing on the area you are interested in and hiding the things you do not want to see, as well as getting inside the point cloud or model. This video shows you how to use the Limit Box tools. Tap the Show button to display the Limit Box toolbar. There are three main toolbar buttons to control the three dimensions. Top and bottom, left and right, front and back. Tap the button and then use the slider to control what is displayed in the map. With the top and bottom button selected, you see the current top elevation limit beside the top slider, the bottom elevation limit beside the bottom slider, and the thickness beside the middle slider. Slide the top or bottom sliders up or down to increase or decrease the elevation range displayed. Slide the middle slider to change the elevation centre point, which also changes the top and bottom elevations by the same amount. When you tap the middle slider, the thickness displayed changes to show the elevation. The middle slider is great when wanting to view, say, floor details on a multi-storey building. You can easily set the elevation range displayed for one floor and then just slide the centre point up to view the next floor. It can be used equally well on walls. The left and right and front and back sliders work in much the same way as the elevation slider. If your project is not orientated nicely to north, then you can set the reference azimuth and cogo settings to match the orientation of the project. Setting a reference azimuth will then make the left and right and front and back sliders way more effective. My project is already north oriented, but if I set the reference azimuth to say 30 degrees, you can see how the sliders now move at 30 degrees. You can use the full height of the map screen to move the sliders up and down. Slider speed changes depending on the current zoom or scale of the map. Zoom out to make it faster. There is also a way to edit the values manually. Tap and hold on the button to set values directly. To clear the limits set for an individual button or to, to clear all limits. If we look at the vertical limits, you can see that we can set the top, bottom and centre independently. We can also see and change the thickness. If we lock the thickness, then change any one of the first three fields, the other two fields update automatically to maintain the set thickness. Once you've finished setting the limits, you can hide the slider controls by tapping the yellow button. When you switch the limit box off from the show button, the limit box tools are hidden and the limit box controls are cleared. However, the current settings are remembered with each job, ready for the next time. This concludes a video showing how to use the limit box. For more information, visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.